July is set to be the hottest month on record across the world and here in Central Texas we sure are feeling it and so are our crops. Local vineyard owners are in a constant battle with this year's sweltering summer. Six News anchor Bailey Bates visited one today to see how they're making sure that their grapes beat the heat. Bailey? Lindsay Country Spring Vineyard and Wine Garden in McLennan County is one of the several vineyards across Texas that's working hard to overcome the challenges that come with the heat. Today I sat down with the owners who tell me it's made it difficult to see their efforts come into fruition. Somewhere deep in the heart of Texas, there's a couple who wants to share their craft with you. Let's go taste another grape. Would you okay. like that? Curtis and Mary Timmons are the owners of Country Spring Vineyard and Wine Garden. We've been doing this now for uh, harvesting grapes for the last 10 years or so. They take care of around 3,000 grapevines year round. I'm looking for clusters. I'm seeing what the clusters look like. I'm taking a sample. I get to eat grapes all day long and it's just wonderful. I love it. What so, Curtis doesn't you know, love is the stress that comes with Texas summers. With the drought and hot temperatures, his vines demand two gallons of water every three days. Drip comes out of here, goes to the root zone. It doesn't go to evaporation. It doesn't go to heat loss. And so we save all the water that we can. Water conservation is more important every year out here. He's installed an underground so, irrigation system to stay on top of the game oh, really? or else. They become, become overripe very quickly and then it's not suitable for wine. His grapes shrivel and the job for the winemaker, his wife Mary, gets a little more complicated. We're getting some lovely sugars, but again, the titratable acidity and the, the pH of the grapes is way off. The Texas heat causes imbalance for the winemaker and the journey from harvest to the consumer becomes more challenging. You're just pulling at every resource you can find, hoping that, you know, a few months from now, you got something decent to put into a bottle. But that's a challenge the Timmons are always willing to battle. The Timmons won't know the exact impact of this summer seat until about a year from now when they go to bottle the wines. But they are hopeful as they've adjusted to whatever Mother Nature throws at them for the past decade, Lindsay. And I bet their wine tastes really good. We're going to have to go check yep. them out <laughs> when we're not doing a story. Yeah. All right, Bailey, thanks so much.